Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm very well. In today's video, I am wearing a wig. I have become a little bit obsessed with wigs ever since I started watching Ready to Glare. I don't know if any of you guys know who Ready to Glare is, but it's another YouTuber and she's always wearing these awesome wigs. So I've just kind of bought myself a wig and I don't know, I kind of got a natural one because I was just like, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to see what I'd look like with long, natural-ish hair. Um, but this is kind of close to my natural hair colour kind of. This is probably as close as I would get to my natural hair colour. My natural hair colour is like a very ashy blondy brown and yeah I think this is about as close as I would get but it's too hot to be wearing this to be honest. But yeah I thought I'd give it a go, the good old wig wearing thing. I'm kind of digging it. The hair at the front is so annoying though. Like I'm wearing false eyelashes and if you've ever worn a wig with false eyelashes you know the struggle. Like the hair gets in them and you've got to peel it out and uh, it's a whole deal. But I thought I'd give it a go. Let me know how you feel about this wig of Rooney. But yeah, in today's video, I am going to talk about things I wish I'd known before I got tattooed or tattoos. I kind of took inspiration from one of Quicken's videos that she's uploaded recently. She did one about moving into her first flat or leaving home or moving out alone something like that. But I thought I'd take inspiration from that and do one for tattoos because that's just who I am as a person. I like to talk about tattoos and how good they can be and the problems that come with them also. So I've compiled a nice little list on my phone here of things that I wish I had known before I had got tattooed. This might be helpful for you. I mean if you're already tattooed then this might not help or I don't know you might just agree with this or something or you can add your own little points down below and you might actually help someone else. But if you're thinking about getting tattooed this list may help. So the first thing that I wish I know before I got tattooed is just artist research. I wish I had known that there was so many different styles and different artists and different techniques. Like when I first started getting tattooed, I've mentioned this so many times on my channel and in my videos, but I was so clueless when I first started getting tattoos and that's why I have quite a few bad ones and that's why I've had like three cover-ups and now one rework. Oh my god, there is a fucking daddy long legs attacking my softbox. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear it, but you might be able to hear the tss tss. You have your window open because it's like 30 degrees, but then it turns into bug's life anywhere in your house. Oh god, am I going to film with this thing flapping around? Oh. Please, just settle down. You can have the softbox, mate. You can have it. Just settle down. Oh, I don't know where it's gone now. Oh, it's gone now, you motherfucker! Oh, it's on my bed. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god. Get off my bed. Actually, no, if you're just gonna chill there, that's fine. No, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. Like, there it is, right there. Look at it. Ugh! There you go, then. Please just settle down. Oh, no, stop it. Oh god, okay, I'm gonna try and film, um, without dying. What was I saying? Oh, fuck me, what was I saying? Oh god, just leave go out my bedroom door is open for this reason so bugs can just fuck off into the house but yeah i don't actually know what i was saying what was i saying but yeah when i first started getting tattooed i didn't know about the different styles and the different techniques i didn't know anything at all so i really wish i would have researched that or known oh known oh known oh Oh, I don't know what that is. That's not a daddy long legs at all. Oh, you guys, I don't know what to do. You guys, this video is an absolute disaster. Um, <laughs> I've lost all train of thought. Um, it's now in my softbox. Like, it's inside of it somehow. I'm not even going to pretend to be professional right now. I but yeah, I wish I had known about the different styles, different techniques within tattooing. Um, I had no idea and that's why I've had three cover-ups because I've had bad tattoos. I didn't know you could get like realism or traditional, like I was so clueless when I first started getting tattooed. I kind of just thought, you know, tribal black work and script was the only thing because that was the only thing I would see around town and on other people's bodies. I never saw anything colourful or realistic or traditional, like I never saw any decent tattoos at all when I was younger. I had no clue. So I wish I had done research into different styles and different artists but back when I first started getting tattooed, there wasn't any way to do something like that. We didn't have Instagram, there was BME Zine or BME Zine, whatever you call it. And that was it, we didn't have Instagram, there's no way really to research different tattoo artists and different styles. Well, I could have maybe researched different styles, but I didn't know that was a thing. So, um, just look into different styles and figure out what styles you want. You can have a mix of styles. Don't let anyone tell you that mixing styles is ugly. 
in my personal opinion when you mix styles I think it's awesome so I have traditional on this arm and then I have black and grey somewhat realism on this arm so if you want to do something like that it's okay just do what you want it's your body at the end of the day don't let any stuck up people that oh my god what is that I'm sorry but that fly thing is back it's definitely not a daddy long legs it's gold it's got wings and about four legs, six legs. Oh God, I don't know who created that, but that's not a good idea. That was not a good idea to create that. Oh, Mother Nature really fucked up with that one, didn't it? Ooh. Anyway, it's just walking around and it's looking at me, it's judging me. It's probably thinking, girl, that wig is too much, too much girl. I think it's a bit drunk. Hang on, let me film it again. You guys, I'm sorry about the state of this video, but I'm not going to be fake about it and re-record because I can't be bothered. <laughs> Look at it. Like, where are you going? What are you doing? Let me zoom in. Let's see. Look, look at it. What is that? If there's any bug enthusiasts, let me know what that is. It kind of looks like a dragonfly, but not really. It's like a daddy long legs dragonfly. It's a daddy fly. <laughs> Oh god, it's just got his mind of its own. Can we not? Ugh. Ugh. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> the main tattoo styles that we have is realism, traditional, neo-traditional, new school, um, Japanese, dot work, black work, line work. Mm, I think that's everything. And then there's subgenres and stuff like that, but they're the main ones to look out for. Okay, I just had to put the bug under a cup. I know that's not humane, but it was flapping around too much. So I kind of just knocked it down and put a cup over it and I'll deal with that in a minute. Um, it was far too distracting. I'm sorry about that. So the second point that I wish I had known before I started getting tattooed was that different styles have different longevity when it comes to lasting years and years and years. I've been talking about this quite a lot on my channel recently with a couple of the tattoo etiquette videos that I've been putting out. Um, but yeah, it is true. Some tattoos last longer than others. The bolder, the blacker the tattoo, the longer it's going to last. That's just fact and it's just shown over history that the bolder the tattoo, the longer it lasts. If the tattoo has very tiny line work or outlines, it's not going to last as long. Single needle tattoos and micro tattoos will not last long. Um, anything that doesn't have an outline around it will not last long. Um, so kind of like with watercolour tattoos, they will last but eventually in 20, 30, 40 years it's all going to blur out a little bit, it's all going to look a little bit muddy, um, but it just depends on you as a person. If you don't mind a tattoo not lasting that long and you have plans to maybe cover it up in the future, that's fine, you do you, at the end of the day it is your body, you do what you want with it. But if you want a tattoo to last a very, very, very long time, you need to go with a style that has big, bold line work and big, bold colours. I would say traditional and neo-traditional is the two styles that is going to last the longest, and black work tattoos as well, so you just standard black work tattoos with thick outlines and a lot of black. They will last long as well, but... Um, micro tattoos, single needle tattoos and with realism it does last longer than say a micro tattoo or a single needle tattoo but they won't last and look as good as a traditional tattoo will in say 30 years time or whatever um, but it's just up to you at the end of the day like sometimes you just gotta live in the moment like we all do it. The next thing I wish I had known before I got tattooed is cheap tattoos aren't always good. Now I know some of you guys do have good tattoos and you didn't spend that much money on them that's fine but I'm talking about when someone offers to do a sleeve for you for 20 quid. Red flag it's not gonna be good it's gonna look awful I have never seen a 20 quid sleeve look good never not once never like absolutely not I have never seen a five pound tattoo look good either so if some guy on Craigslist offers to do a big tattoo for you for like 20 quid it's not legit I've never been in that position but that's just a word of advice for you guys it's not going to turn out good at all I've definitely had cheap tattoos some of my tattoos are cheap I would guess like some of my traditional ones were relatively cheap like my lipstick one I think it was like 70 quid and I think my perfume one was 80 my Dubai one again I think was 85 pounds and the tiger one was 
maybe 80 again or something. Um, so in my mind, that's cheap. That is a cheap tattoo um, compared to the other ones that I've been getting recently, which are anything from 120 to, well, no, actually 120 is kind of cheap, I would say, I don't know. Um, but I've been getting tattoos that are like 200, 300 pounds. So like just eyeball it, to be honest with you. There is good tattoo artists out there that won't charge an arm and leg but there is some out there that will charge an arm and a leg and they're not good. You just gotta eyeball it, look through a artist's Instagram page and you can tell like what's good and what's not. Um, if it's got good line work so the line work isn't jiggity jaggedy and if the colours are really bold and saturated, you, you're fine. You should be in good hands. But yeah, very, very cheap tattoos are bad news, 100%. Unless, unless, let me just do an unless, unless it's a flash day. I know there's like flash days where tattoo artists will do a tattoo for like 30 quid or whatever. That's okay, that's like an event thing. But if they're saying, hey, I'm gonna do a sleeve for 30 quid, then just get out, it's not okay. <laughs> the next point is, in my opinion, the day after the tattoo is a lot worse than the day of the tattoo. And what I mean by that is when you get a tattoo, it's like, yeah, okay, it's painful, but the day after for me is like 10 times worse. I don't know whether it's because I'm old, well, old-ish, but, I ache everywhere and it's normally because I've been sitting in funny positions or whatever and the tattoo is just swollen and sore and it's throbbing and it's just ugh, it's just not fun for me at all the day after I'm just like don't touch me don't look at me like I just don't have a good time the day after um, I do suffer again it might just be me let me know if you guys are the same but yeah the day of the tattoo and like after is fine it's just the day after I suffer it's like a full-on tattoo hangover the moth now in here <sighs> I can't catch a break literally oh my god you guys I'm not joking there is four moths in here why can't I catch a break it's literally bugs life in here the next thing that I'd wish I had known before I started getting tattooed or tattoos is when a tattoo is healing it's ugly okay like no question about it a healing tattoo is ugly it gets all like shiny and it gets all crispy and the scabs are like three inches thick okay that's dramatic but the scabs get thick and it just doesn't look good at all and you have to explain to every Everybody, what's happening to it especially if they've never had a tattoo before you're just like oh this is normal and then people are like oh my god is it infected like why does it look like that it looks so ugly like yes this is normal this is what happens to a healing tattoo so if you haven't been tattooed before and you get a tattoo just remember this video that when your tattoo heals it gets scabby and dry and flaky and it's just disgusting it does not look good at all I don't think anyone finds that attractive like nobody I don't care how much you like tattoos when your tattoo is scabby it is gross the next point is tattoos are addictive and I don't mean in the sense of you need rehab it's like a coke addiction type thing like you just get addicted kind of mildly get addicted to the whole tattoo process that's what it is for me i love booking a new tattoo i love getting a new tattoo i love that whole process of going to a studio and just being excited for having something new but it's not like an actual addiction type thing like you don't need help um so it's kind of weird when people say oh i'm addicted to getting tattoos like you kind of are but you're not like medically addicted but you just spend your life looking at new tattoos, following new tattoo artists, looking on Instagram and thinking of ideas and emailing tattoo artists and like there's this thing that we have in my Facebook group now where we say oops I've accidentally slipped and fallen into my tattoo artist inbox like we can't help it it's just one of those things so I don't I honestly don't know of anyone that gets one tattoo and then is like that's enough for me I'm done like Yasmin has one tattoo and she got that in like 2012 so she's done very well I think she does want another one she's mentioned here and there that she does want another one so I think she's the only one that has managed to make it this far without getting another tattoo but you just end up thinking oh I'll have that I'll have that okay one more it becomes a bit of a problem <laughs> the next one is you do get stared at quite a bit now I guess it depends where you live and I'm talking obviously from my experience for this video again it depends where you live like if you live in somewhere like London or Brighton or you know a city um, there's tattooed people everywhere it's not a rare thing but in my town there's like a handful of people that are tattooed I would say I mean people do have tattoos but 
leaning towards the like heavily side of tattooed there's not that many people so people will stare at you and sometimes they're just checking you out looking at what you've got but other times there's people staring at you in a judgingly way and you kind of get to know which stare means what you know you can just tell what people are thinking kind of when people look at you they're just like oh right you have tattoos so what gang are you in type thing like you can tell what stare it is when they give it to you but I think that's the more you get tattooed but I guess if you live in a very small village or a very small town where there's not many tattooed people and you are the only tattooed person or one of like three I'm sure you guys can understand what I mean by the stare don't let that stop you don't let that affect you because if I had let the stares affect me I, I wouldn't be as tattooed as I am now, that's for sure, I would have stopped years ago. Um, but it's just one of those things, like, it happens, but, oh well. The next thing that I wish I had known before I started getting tattooed is, people will touch you and grab you against your will. I know that sounds really like, whoa, okay, what? Like, oh my god. But, <laughs> it's a thing, and people seem to think that people with tattoos don't mind it like we're an open book we are so okay with people touching us when in actual fact it's really uncomfortable and annoying um when i used to work in retail i left that thank god um but when i worked in my old job oh my god i can't even tell you how many times someone would grab me like grab my wrists and then turn me all around in different positions to have a look at my tattoos and they would stroke my skin to see what it felt like and it's just like fucking hell i sometimes i felt like a zoo animal i know I know that's like a weird comparison and it's probably a bit dramatic but it's just so annoying and like the first couple of times it happens it's just like oh, okay like whatever but when it becomes a very regular occurrence it starts to get really really annoying like I know some people say I wouldn't mind or whatever but when it happens all the time like, it really did get annoying very annoying like they just touch you and grab you without your permission like if you went up to some random person and grabbed their scarf or grabbed their hair and was like oh I really like this like where did you get this done or why would you do this to yourself that's like harassment right like people would get really pissed off if you did that to them so I don't know why people think it's okay for them to do it to tattooed people I don't know why there's a blip in that system but there is but I think if you don't have that many tattoos you might escape with that it depends how tattooed you want to be I mean you might get it when you have one tattoo let me know your guys' experience on that if you only have a couple of tattoos and you've had people come up to you and grab you and touch you without your permission the next one and the last one is people will question your life choices <laughs> they will tell you what you can and cannot do with your body they will say you can't get any more tattoos or this tattoo looks ugly or they will say oh you're such a pretty girl like why would you do this to yourself all of this bullshit you'll probably get it from family members from friends from strangers on the street i've had it all from absolutely Absolutely everybody people will question your life choices and what you do to your own body and it drives you insane it's just so annoying and the first couple of times again you're just like oh well yeah like you try and explain yourself to people and you're just like well this is my life plan and I know I'm okay having these tattoos within my life and oh, people are asking you what you want to do in your life like what you want as a career do you want to get married people question whether you're going to get married and what you will look like in a wedding dress I have had that so many times I've had people come up to me and say oh but what about when you get married well bitch maybe I don't want to get married all right maybe I don't want to do that why is it any of your business what I look like in a white fucking dress for one day of my life why does it matter but people are so nosy and it's so annoying like people literally think they're entitled to your body and to what you do with it just because you have tattoos like they instantly think you're lower than low like they're just like oh well she's tattooed or he's tattooed they've given up everything like they have no life now they don't have a job because they have tattoos and they can't get married because they have tattoos like people's minds towards tattooed people are fucking weird i swear to god like so what? I'm tattooed. Yes, I have a job. Well, I'm self-employed now, but they're just so invasive and it gets so annoying and it's from everyone. Like I have been questioned by people I used to work with. I've been questioned by family members. My friends have been okay, actually, I think. Well, I had one friend that didn't want me to get tattooed, but 
she's not my friend anymore. <laughs> my camera died just as I was about to finish this video. That is so annoying. But yeah, I think that's everything I needed to talk about in this video. Anyway, I'm sorry it's been all over the place. I can't wait to take this wig off, it's far too hot for this synthetic bullshit, I swear to god. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all doing very well, and until my next video, bye.